So I got a man who is constantly cheating on his wife. And he said to me, blessing, they always say we should marry a woman with a good character. I married a very good woman with a good character, but she's unattractive. Good character cannot make love to me in the bed. Good character cannot satisfy me. Good character cannot attract me in bed. How am I supposed to cope? I want to stop cheating on my wife, but she is not attractive. Now, the crazy thing about a lot of women think that the definition of being a good woman is by tying wrapper, by looking haggard, by flying your hair. That's the crazy African mentality. People feel that as a wife, you need to be haggard. People feel that as a wife, you need to look a certain kind of way. You need to be unattractive just because you're your wife. You begin to tie wrapper. You are flying wrapper from head to toe. That's what makes you your wife. That's where you get it all wrong. I'm going to teach you something in this video. It is called the law of attraction. So these are the things that the side chick do that a lot of married women cannot do. It's called effort. A lot of young girls tend to put effort when they are not married. But the moment they get married, they stop putting in effort. That thing that the side chick is doing is effort. She takes time to want to look beautiful. She takes time to want to dress sexy. She takes time to want to look hot. She takes time to wear her hair. To be attractive is an effort. This is what the side chicks, they do. They take time to take care of themselves. They wear a waist trainer to make sure that their waist are snatched. 247. But as a married woman, the moment you just find a man, you leave yourself. <laughs> That's the difference between a married woman and a side chick. These are the constant effort that the younger girls put in. Now, I told you something. As a man, the eyes must eat before the heart. One thing about you married women is that the moment you get married, you leave yourself. Not just married women, even girls in a relationship. You meant to just get one boyfriend. You leave yourself. The law of attraction. You need to constantly put in effort. What is effort? Effort is the... The bra. I know you want to come and tell me I have a sad breast. My breast is sad. My tummy is big. This is the bra. This is a padded bra. Wearing a bra, a padded bra, and lifting up every falling thing is called effort. Wearing a waist trainer to push in your tummy is called effort. That is what the side chicks constantly do that you do not do. You just leave yourself. That's why you are envious of the other woman. That's why you keep admiring the other woman. That's why you want the other woman's life. It's because that woman is taking care of herself and you left yourself. The only time you can focus on another woman is when you leave yourself. That's when you'll be focusing on somebody else. That woman you are admiring, that slay queen, takes time to dress up, takes time to wear her wig, takes time to take good care of herself. That's why you are admiring her. You leave yourself. It still boils down to confidence. I keep telling a lot of women, you are not looking beautiful because of a man. You're looking beautiful because of yourself. As a woman, make sure you can wake up every morning and look in front of the mirror. If you cannot look in front of the mirror and love what you see, how do you expect a man to love you? You need to be confident in yourself. And the only way your confidence can come in is if you take care of yourself. Put in what is called effort. Yes, the law of attraction. You even need to be attractive to yourself before you can walk, before you can talk, before you can do shakara. That's what a lot of you women have lost. Can you put in a little effort? Can you put in a little effort to be attractive? Because the eyes eat before the heart. Please. You dressing sexy doesn't make you a prostitute. 
You putting spice in your relationship doesn't make you a harlot. Can you change this mentality? Stop all the rabba soko, rabba, rabba, rabba. Every time you are in Shiloh, every time you are in church, you are praying. You are not putting in effort. When you pray without effort, it's like pouring water in a basket. The more you pray, the more it's entering dustbin. Before you pray and you want it to work, you need to put in what is called effort. It is that effort and that prayer that makes it work. No matter how you go and rabba soko, rabba, 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 and you do not put in effort to be attractive, to draw your husband's eye, he's going to remain with that side chick. It's not jazz. It's called attraction. That side chick is putting in an effort that you're not putting in. You're not putting in this effort for a man. You're putting it for your confidence. Because you need to be able to wake up in the mirror and look at yourself and say, Oh God, I'm beautiful. A lot of you have left yourself. That's why you have allowed a man to debase you. <laughs> we are struggling with something. I suck belly 24 hours. Yes, I suck belly 24 hours. Is that bad? And I'm used to sucking belly. I cannot stand without sucking my belly. It has become part of me. Because as a woman, you need to learn how to package yourself 247. Wear the right bra. Wear the right clothes. Compose yourself. Every woman is struggling and packaging something. It's called effort. I don't know how else I want to speak the language. But the law of attraction is what a lot of you married women are lacking in your relationship and marriage. Put in that effort. That effort you were putting in when you were young. Put it in when you're married. Even put in more. I beg you. I see a lot of men come to my office and all they are complaining about is their wives. Stop leaving yourself. Take good care of yourself. Look beautiful. Look hot. Not even for a man. For yourself. So that you can be able to look at the mirror and smile. It boosts your self-confidence. Stop being lazy. I beg you. Have this at the back of your mind. That the eyes of a man eats before his heart. You need to constantly be attractive. So that you can always pull his attention. Joe, to you alone. Being sexy doesn't make you a harlot. Showing cleavage to your husband doesn't make you a prostitute. Change all, change all those archaic mentality. Unlearn all those rubbish you have learned and relearn new things. Evolve. Look good. Look hot. Be appealing. You know how this period your husband used to go and watch football? He's not going to watch football. He's going to go and feed his eyes. Because what he's seeing in the house is not understanding. So he goes outside to feed his eyes. Make your husband come home. Put in that effort. Eh? Look hot. Mm? Look hot. Look hot. Look hot. It's called the spice. Learn to spice your marriage. You don't need to have the perfect body. Just package your body. With this viewpoint of mine, I hope I've been able to convince and not to confuse you. To not to leave yourself. Continue putting yourself together. A woman's life is about effort. Hey, weak, bra, pants. We keep putting in effort. That is our life. We have the ability to multitask. Package yourself, okay? And look attractive. Build your self-confidence so that you can be able to look at yourself in the mirror and appreciate your being. I love you guys. If I don't, I won't even put in effort to do all these videos just to make your relationship and marriage work. In as much as you're getting it for free, it's worth more than gold. Use it. It's going to help you.